Hello there, this is John French here again. Today we're going to do something different. Right, and as you can see the exhaust pipe, or as the muffler as we call it here, or the exhaust system, is going to have to be cut out because once the electric motor is in here, we'll have no need for this kind of stuff. So that's extra weight to cut down. As you can see, we got the exhaust pipe out and the mufflers, so it looks a whole lot cleaner under here now. More space to put batteries, of course. Moving right along here, you can see I've just taken out the fuel tank. It's rather large, and it's about ooh, nine, ten inches deep, which is big enough to get a battery in. 18 inches wide by approximately 29 inches tall. So that's something to behold. The fuel tank. And today we're going to cover, making, we're talking about covers, we're going to take this bracket which was on the motorhome and we're going to make a perspex cover to cover the shaft and so that there will be no dirt getting into the clutch area which i have a funny feeling that maybe moisture and dirt is probably bad for a clutch so all we basically do is just take a piece of cardboard and a ball peen hammer not really and we just lay it on like that the motor home motor housing and i've just taken a piece of cardboard and lay it underneath this housing and i'm figured out what we can do is just trace out the shape and then we can make make a perspex cover that fits in everything. Yes, piece of cardboard and a great template. Nice template. Holes, holes and maybe one of these. Okay. So now that we've got this all marked out, we just take this bracket, set it down, I'll take a pair of scissors and I'll just cut round the shape, knock out these holes and transfer this template. After knocking out these holes with this ball peen hammer, we can now transfer this template image onto our piece of perspex. Now this piece of perspex here has plastic that peels off on both sides to, to, you know, to protect the surface. So that's a good idea. Same point. Now then, yeah, all right, good. Now then, what you do is you just set this up in a not in the middle, otherwise all this is going to get wasted. So set it up to one side in case we need to. Make a second and once that is laid out there, all we gotta do is just draw around it. See look at that. Once we've got our template transferred onto the sheet plastic here, something like this, and then we get the plastic cut out into the right shape here. We just get it cut out roughly. And then mark all your holes by going back to the original bracket and marking out exactly, marking everything out exactly. Okay, so we've got our peripheral holes drilled here. Now we're going to get this one marked and drilled. But to do that, we have to put this bracket back on the transmission casing, which we shall do tomorrow because it's about 12.30 now. We've taken the motor support bracket off and if we look closely from all the hole drilling and motor setting that some of the paint has came off this bracket. So we can give it another coat of primer and another coat of finish just to make it look good again. If you place the bracket inside a cardboard box that will prevent overspill when you come to repaint it 
I've just put a coat of grey primer on right now and boy it's strong smelling stuff but should be done in a few hours then we can uh, turn it over and do the next side